Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 28 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension, Obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is no miracle at all, it is simply the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. Our number is 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If we've left you on hold in the past, tell our call screener and we'll get you first up. 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can head over to my website, brightsideben.com, brightsideben.com. You can order products directly off the website, or you can sign up to join me in my mission to educate the world about the importance and power of a good nutritional supplement program. You can make some money selling longevity products, help change lives with the longevity line of supplements. Offer a one-time $25 fee, 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Band phone team if you, desire to, if you desire to talk to somebody in person or you can sign up right off the website, brightsideben.com or my blog, criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com or brightsideben.com or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. For those of you guys interested in checking out my new Truth Treatment health, skin health products, you can head over to truthtreatments.com, take a look at our retinol gel, 5% retinol. You're not going to see that anywhere. You're not going to see it in any doctor's offices. You're not going to see it in any salons, any department stores, anywhere on the internet. It's 5% retinol, non-irritating, made with a whole bunch of vitamin C and nothing you don't need. That's one of the things about skincare products, as we've been talking. When you buy a skincare product, you're paying for 90% stuff you don't need or don't want, including preservatives and fragrances and water and emulsifiers and surfactants, stuff that helps a company sell you products, stuff that helps a CEO make money on products, but is stuff that isn't going to do your skin any good. If you go to truthtreatments.com, you'll find my formulated, my truth treatment formulations made with only active and functional ingredients. Never water, preservatives, surfactant, or anything your skin doesn't need, including our 5% retinol with 25% vitamin C, all at truthtreatments.com. All right, speaking of skin, we've been talking about skin health now for a few weeks. We left off talking yesterday about connective tissue building. The skin is largely made up of connective tissue. That's one of the things about the skin that's so confusing as we look at it, and it looks like it's just one thing. We don't notice the layered nature of the skin. We don't think about the layered nature of the skin. For the most part, when we look at the skin, we're seeing the upper 10% of the skin, or even less, upper 1% of the skin, a little covering called the stratum corneum, which is made up of dead stuff. Most skincare products work on this dead tissue. You can spend $150 for a skincare product that's gonna soften your dead tissue. Congratulations. How does that sound? $150 to have soft, dead tissue. That's what the skincare business has devolved itself to. And for the most part, your dermatologists and even your, your skincare professionals don't even, don't pay any attention to this unfortunate fact. The bulk of the skin is connective tissue. It's 90% of the skin. It's where the good stuff is. It's where you gotta be if you wanna fight wrinkles. And it's located in the lower levels of the skin, in the connective tissue. And a major part of the connective tissue is a substance called hyaluronic acid. 
Now, hyaluronic acid is not just, of course, found in the skin. It's found throughout the body. It's one of the body's most important substances. It's in the lungs. It's in the intestines. It's especially in the cartilage, and that's why eating bone broth and bone soup can be so important. Bone broth and bone soup made with real bones dissolved in water is going to be a great source of hyaluronic acid. If you look at a chicken leg or a drumstick, and you look at that white knobby stuff on top of the, on top of the chicken bone, that stuff is largely composed of hyaluronic acid and hyaluronic acid-like substances. And one of the neat things about these substances, hyaluronic acid and other components like hyaluronic acid, is you can upregulate or increase your hyaluronic acid and hyaluronic acid activity by eating the stuff. That's one of the reasons why bone soup is one of the most anti-aging, pro-immunity, bone building, connective tissue building, blood vessel building substances you could ever put in your diet. Now, if you're a vegetarian, you're not going to have access to this stuff. Not that there's anything wrong with being a vegetarian, of course, but you're just going to miss out on the hyaluronic acid and the connective tissue type substances because those things are only found in animal products. I got a message from a guy this morning. He wanted to know about alternatives to the glucogel caps, vegetarian alternatives to the glucogel caps. Well, unless you're going to find a, a tomato or spinach or, or cabbage that's got bones in it or cartilage in it, you're not going to be able to access the wonderful bone building, connective tissue building substances in the glucogel caps if you're a vegetarian. It's just not going to happen. These are only found in animal products. Yesterday we took a call from a guy who was using a wire cutter on his chicken bone when he was making his bone soup. Now you're not going to get hyaluronic acid in the inner bone. The inner bone, uh, the uh, hyaluronic acid is not found in the inside part of bone. It's, car it's concentrated in the cartilage, but bone marrow the inner parts of bones is still extremely good stuff, unbelievably valuable for health. And we've eaten bone marrow throughout our evolutionary history because it's always provided us with us human beings with a source of tremendous nutritional value. Bone marrow, for those of you who don't know, is the soft, slightly mushy, kind of fatty stuff inside the hollow cavities of bones. It makes about 5% up, uh, five, 4 or 5% up of our bodies. 4 to 5% of our bodies is made up of this stuff, bone marrow. There's two types of bone marrow. You've got red bone marrow, which is the raw material for making blood cells, and you've got yellow bone marrow, which is fat cells. To ancient Chinese physicians who knew a thing or two about the body, bone marrow was considered the core tissue of the body. Bone marrow was thought to contain the essence, the spiritual essence of the human being or of the animal. Interestingly, today, modern researchers, scientists know that within bone marrow, you got high concentrations of stem cells. The originating and the structural and organizing influences and the genetic material for the whole body inside the bone marrow. Inside the bone marrow, you've got a whole complex, a series of molecules called GAGs, technically glyco or glucose amino glycans. We're just going to call them GAGs. And these GAGs are ridiculously, ridiculously important for good health. Hyaluronic acid is an example of a GAG, but there's other ones. In fact, we spend lots of time talking about GAGs, even though we haven't specifically called them GAGs. We spend lots of time talking about, <clears throat> excuse me, these GAGs when it comes to building the immune system, building the blood vessels, building the bones, chondroitin, glucosamine, the stuff that you get in the glucogel caps. These are all GAGs, including hyaluronic acid. And these GAGs, most people these days know, are important for joint health, for arthritis. But what you may not know is they're also important for the health of your gums if you've got gum disease. They're also important for the health of your lungs if you're dealing with any kind of lung problem. If you're a smoker, you want to make especially certain that you're using your glucogel caps and you're making sure that you're using your bone soup and you're getting your cartilage to help repair your lungs. If you have any kind of kidney dysfunction, if you're a diabetic with kidney disease, these GAGs, hyaluronic acid and glucosamine and chondroitin, can help protect your kidneys from damage. The glucogel caps can help protect your kidneys. The glucogel caps can help you build your gums. The glucogel caps can help prevent wrinkles. It's all because of the multifunctionality and the power of glucose amino glycans, which are found throughout the body. And once you eat these GAGs, whether you're getting them in a supplement like the glucogel caps or whether you're getting them in your bone soup, they travel through the digestive system, through the blood, and they can get deposited in the various tissues of the body, the lungs and the gums, etc., and the skin. 
All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Back on the bright side, I am Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We've got lines open for you. We'll get your calls here in just a moment, so hang tight. 844-236-6010 is our number if you have questions about the longevity products or formulations or if you've got a health care challenge that you want help with. We're here for you. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let us help you change your life today. Let us help you change the lives of loved ones, friends, family members today as well. Get yourself on a good nutritional supplement program or get your loved ones on a good nutritional supplement program like the one designed by Doc and Dr. Wallach. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to join the Brightside Ben team, call the phone team at 866-735-2470 or you can head over to my blog pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. That's my new blog with George Nori. Or of course, you can always go to brightsideben.com. And if you're interested in purchasing any of the Truth Treatment products, you can go to truthtreatments.com. Or if you just want more information, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so we're talking GAGs. We're talking high hyaluronic acid and connective tissue building. When you're thinking about connective tissue building supplements like the glucogel caps, the tendency is to think about arthritis and joint problems and certainly Using the glucogel caps is a great way to deal with joint problems and degenerative joint disease. When you eat glucosamine, when you eat these GAGs, when you eat hyaluronic acid, they get delivered right to the joints. But you don't just have to have arthritis or joint problems in order to, to benefit from these substances because GAGs, glucosamine and chondroitin and hyaluronic acid and a few other ones, they're found everywhere in the body, in your eyeballs, in your, uh, in your blood vessels, in your skin, in your gums, in your kidneys. Pretty much the whole body has a, everywhere in the body has at least a little bit of these GAGs and that means pretty much every single system in the body can benefit, every single structural system in the body can benefit from the glucogel caps, from bone broth, from high hyaluronic acid supplements. If you're a vegetarian, you're going to be somewhat out of luck because these are only found in animal products, although mushrooms will get you kind of sort of similar, uh, similar sort of substances. If you uh, are a vegetarian, it's probably a good idea to eat mushrooms, although some people can't do mushrooms either. In any case, GAGs, hyaluronic acid, chondroitin, they all help you build connective tissue, and one of the most important of the connective tissue substances that gets built up with these uh, GAGs is collagen. Women know all about collagen because building collagen is such an important skin health strategy, but like, like uh, glucosamine and, and chondroitin and hyaluronic acid, collagen is found everywhere. Collagen is around 25-30% of your body is made up of collagen, especially your bones. If you're dealing with osteoporosis, folks, you have just as much a collagen problem as you do a calcium problem. This is why people can take all the calcium they want and still end up with osteoporosis. This is why we get more calcium in this country than any other country in the world, pretty much. And we have the highest rates of osteoporosis. So anybody who says, oh, well, you, you need calcium for your bones if you have osteoporosis, well, they're only partially correct because you also need protein and collagen and you also need this, these GAG substances to build strong bone. Where do you get them? Well, you can use supplements like the glucogel caps and you can use your bone broth or bone soup. What makes bone broth or bone soup an all-around nutritional supplement is it is a growth food, a repair food, a youth food. It's like a youth serum bone broth is. It supports rejuvenation, it supports renewal for every single part of our body that involves the structure of our body, that is. And that is for everybody, for babies. Babies benefit from bone broth and bone soup. Children benefit from bone broth and bone soup. Teenagers, adults, and certainly the elderly. In fact, bone soup and bone broth is one of the all-time great foods for older folks in nursing homes. If you have a, have a uh, relative, a family member, mom or dad or grandma or grandpa in a nursing home, bring them a thermos of homemade bone soup and you'll add years to their lives. And you'll improve their quality of life as well. Bone broth is one of the best anti-wrinkle foods you could ever eat. It's anti-aneurysm. It helps build strong blood vessels. It's anti-arthritis. It helps build strong joints. It's anti-osteoporosis. It helps build strong bones. This is all bone soup. It even supports the immune system and fights cancer and autoimmune diseases. There's not a single prescription drug that can even touch this stuff. 
There is not a, I don't care, Boniva and, and uh, these bisphosphonates that you hear celebrities talk about and uh, supposed uh, anti-osteoporosis medications. They can't even touch bone soup, which will cost you a fraction of what these kinds of drugs will cost you with zero side effects, zero toxicity, and you don't need a doctor or a pharmacist for that matter to get it. Top of all that bone soup is delicious, especially if you put salt in there and other spices, which will get you some minerals. For your adrenal glands, bone soup's great for your adrenal glands, especially if you put Celtic sea salt in there. Upregulates hyaluronic acid, keeps your skin youthful, tight, smooth, wrinkle-free. These are all strategies for building your body without drugs, without doctors, if you're dealing with any kind of chronic degenerative disease and if you're dealing with wrinkles or skin problems. Bone soup is a way, way better anti-wrinkle remedy than anything you're going to get in a department store. Of course, if you want to use topical preparations to improve hyaluronic acid and GAGs and keep wrinkles at bay, make sure you're using retinol. And you want a high concentration of retinol, not a speck of it. And I know good and well about formulations with specks of retinol. I've had companies where, uh, where uh, the CEOs want, well, we just want a little retinol because it's a little irritating, blah, 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 blah. No, you need real retinol and you need a lot of it. That's why I made my truth treatments with 5.0% retinol in there. They say, well, you can't put 5% retinol on a product because it's irritating. Well, not if you know what you're doing, it's not. Try my 5% retinol if you want more information. Go to truthtreatments.com. Alpha hydroxy acids, glycolic acid, lactic acid, these are all uh, alpha hydroxy acids in general. They're found in citrus fruits, vinegar, red wine. All of, the, all of, these, top, all of these are ways that you can topically stimulate high aluronic acid. Vitamin C is also very important for stimulating the growth of connective tissue. In fact, you can't make collagen without vitamin C. Between vitamin C, retinol, and alpha hydroxy acids, you've got your three most important topical ways to improve the production of connective tissue and keep wrinkles at bay. One thing that isn't going to affect your hyaluronic acid levels or connective tissue levels in a skincare product is silicon and water gels. We've talked about that. Last week we talked about a hyaluronic acid product that's advertised on TV. I don't mention its name anymore. It's 90% water. And after that, you get silicon. We talked a little bit about silicon. Silicon gives a product slip. If you've, ever, if you've ever rubbed your finger along, if you ever rubbed something on your skin, a skincare product, then glide your finger along that product and feel kind of a slip or cushiony feel, it sort of feels weird and kind of feels good, you're feeling product, and most, for the most part, you're feeling silicon. Silicon is cheap, silicon is inert, silicon doesn't do anything, and silicon has a sort of nice feel to it especially comfortable on very thin skin under the eye. So almost all eye creams will contain silicon and, and large amounts of it. This one particular product that we talked about a couple of days ago is made with a lot of silicon. So you'll put it on your skin and you'll feel the silicon. If you're like most folks, you're going to think you're moisturized. You are not moisturized. You're siliconized. Getting this gliding sensation, this, uh, this sort of slip, as they call it, is considered a win-win for skincare companies and marketers because, number one, silicon has an inert, an inert nature. Manufacturers don't have to worry about side effects or allergies or irritation. And because the stuff is industrially, industrially produced in big factories, it's really, really cheap. Most silicons cost, you th cost manufacturers three bucks for a gallon. And number two, skincare companies love these silicon kinds of products because consumers have been hypnotized, conditioned into believing that when they feel this little slip, this gliding nature, they've done something to their skin. It's not true. All right, we're going to finish up when we come back from our break and take your phone calls as well. If you're on hold, hang tight. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back on the bright side right after this. back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. We'll continue talking connective tissue and hyaluronic acid and the glucogel caps and we'll talk about topical strategies for upregulating your own hyaluronic acid, your own connective tissue, your own collagen and your dermis using topical strategies and there's lots of them. We'll continue doing that uh, as we continue talking skin health and skin care on the bright side. Keeping in mind that everything that is involved with building the connective tissue in the skin is also going to help you build connective tissue in the rest of the body. And considering that a third of the body is made up of connective tissue, these kinds of strategies are uber, extra, super, extremely important for anti-aging and bodybuilding and overall health strategies, much more than just skin care. 
and we'll continue doing that on the bright side. Time to hit our phones, 844-236-6010. Robert in Ohio, what's going on? Welcome to the bright side. Hi, Ben. Thank you for taking my call. I spoke to you last Thursday at the end of the hour, and we ran out of time. My uh, okay. father has uh, recently had a stroke, and his physician has uh, told him to stop taking the Mighty 90 oh, yeah. because he's afraid it will uh, interfere with, uh, with the drugs. The pharmaceutical medication. Yeah. In particular, the, they were talking about the vitamin K and the CoQ10 uh, adversely affecting the warfarin. How do you even begin to grasp the utter stupidity of nutrition interfering with drugs. I don't even know how to get my mind around that. So the nutrients that God put in the food that are going to build the body up, that the body uses to repair and to anti-age and to fight disease are going to somehow interfere with the poison. Now, how do you, how do I even address that? You know, I don't even know what to say to these kinds of things. But this is the depths of the stupidity of the medical model. This is how low, it's, how low it has gone. That they're afraid that nutrition is going to interfere with the poison. The poison to the doctor, which is exactly what warfarin is, that's why it kills rats and that's why it's used as rat poison, is going to interfere with the medication. I don't even know how to, uh, I don't know how to understand that. What do you do, how do you subsist without nutrition? What's going to happen to his, to his body without vitamin K? So, I mean, I don't know what to say to that, Robert. It's just absolutely so ridiculous. I have to talk to the doctor to understand this. And of course, we never get to talk to doctors. I think I said that on the last program when I was talking to you. I don't want to have to talk behind the doctor's back to understand what he's doing. I don't, it doesn't make sense to me. Look, Robert, vitamin K is going to, clot, it, it, it has blood, it's how the body clots itself. It uses vitamin K how the blood clots itself, right? So if he's on warfarin and the doctor's trying to artificially force his blood to thin, the vitamin K theoretically is gonna antagonize the warfarin. But vitamin K is also important for his calcium. It's important for all of his cells. It's important for the strength of his bone. It's a vitamin. It facilitates chemical reactions throughout the entire body. And to deprive him of, of vitamin K so the, the warfarin can work, it just flies in the face of intelligence and common sense. I, I don't know how to address that. You know what I'm saying, Robert? Vitamin K is not just a blood, so I can't help you there. If you can get the doctor on the phone, I would love to have a conversation with him on the air. I would absolutely love that because I want to understand what this theoretically intelligent human being is thinking. Other than that, I can't help you. I would never pay it. If it was me, I'd be on the Mighty 90 and then let them play around with the warfarin dose if you have to. Here's the deal. How about if we talk about warfarin, Robert? Okay? okay? Why does blood clot? Do you know why blood clots in, inappropriately? Why does blood, why does blood clot appropriately? And why does it clot inappropriately? It's a defense mechanism. The blood clots in order to keep the body from hemorrhaging to death. Okay? It's the clotting mechanism is designed to keep us from bleeding to death. So you say, when, will we, we, when do we bleed to death? Well, from an evolutionary perspective, when we got bitten by a tiger or a lion or a wild animal. So the body evolved a system to clot. So clotting is part of the stress response. Now, clearly there's no lions in Ohio, right, where you're living, so we don't have to worry, you, your dad doesn't have to worry about that, but there's other stresses on the body. Oxygen, uh, low levels of oxygen are another major stress. One of the best blood thinners of all is breathing or oxygenation. Has the doctor told him about oxygenation to thin the blood or, or breathing? Of course not. Of course not. Why don't you ask your doctor to look up hypoxia, H-Y-P-O-X-I-A, that means low blood oxygen, and blood clotting. Okay? Just tell him to look it up. Be nice about it. Your doctor means well, even if he's not thinking clearly. He means well. So say, Doc, how about if you look up, how about if we do this together? We'll look up hypoxia, low blood oxygen, and blood clotting. You know what you're going to find? That the blood clots when there's not a lot of oxygen present. Tell him to look up uh, uh, dysglycemia and blood clotting. You know what he's going to find? Messed up blood sugar will also cause the blood to clot. Toxins in the blood will also cause the blood to clot. These are all the reasons why the blood is clotting. So doesn't it make sense to remove the sugar, remove the toxins, make sure the blood is being oxygenated to thin the blood, rather than poisoning and compelling and forcing the body to thin the blood with warfarin and coumadin, and now they have all kinds of other blood thinners. I wish I could help you more, but these are what I would be doing. Number one, deep breathing techniques. Number two, controlling his intake of sugar. Number three, if he has any kind of food allergies or digestive issues, those need to be corrected as well. And number four, 
an all-around nutritional supplement program. Vitamin E has got blood thinning properties. Vitamin C has got blood thinning properties. Uh, and then uh, uh, essential fatty acids, your ultimate EFAs, also have blood thinning properties. Magnesium and the B vitamins will open up blood vessels and help improve circulation as well. Not in a blood thinning fashion, but in a blood vessel opening fashion. So you got lots of wonderful strategies there. Is that helpful, sir? Thank you. It sure is. Thank you so much, Ben. Thank you. God bless you, Robert. Good luck. Bye. All right. Crystal in Quebec. Welcome to the Bright Side. Bonjour. What's up? Hey, Ben. Um, How you doing? I called. I'm good, and you? I'm doing well. What's going on today? Well, um, I called you last October. Okay. I had like some some bumps on my skin right under my nose. Okay. It was red and like irritated. Okay. And you sent me some omega six cream, and it worked like oh. in a week. It was oh, gone. Oh, nice. They were completely gone from the omega six healing cream. Yes. Yes, awesome. and I'm very, very happy about that because oh, it was on my awesome. face, you know, I couldn't hide it. <laughs> uh, so, that's awesome. Congratulations. I'll tell you what, Crystal, send me an email, uh, ben, uh, ben at ksco.com, and I'll send you another couple of little samples of the Omega-6 healing cream, okay? Oh, well, I'm still using it. Oh, you and, still have uh, it? Uh, did I send you a little one? So It didn't take much at all, and I'm just it's very, fun. very impressed with the... Thank you. That's how well it worked. I appreciate you saying that. So when you need more, let me know, and I'll send you another little sample. They do last a long time. I don't use water in any of my products, so all the truth treatment products last a really long time. So I sent you a little, a little sample, right? Yeah, like, um, I don't know how you describe it. Yeah, it's a little, little, pla- little plastic, clear plastic jar kind of thing with a silver top. Yeah, that'll last you a long, that'll last you, typically that'll last a month, but I guess you're making it last a long time. Um, for the <laughs> listeners, for the listeners, if you're interested, truthtreatments.com, that's the Omega-6 healing cream, which I actually designed for burns, um, but you can find out all about it, truthtreatments.com. Anything I can help you with, Crystal, or you just want to say thank you? Well, I just wanted to say thank you. I but appreciate if that. I, if I have time, like I could talk about my back. <laughs> you, are you breaking out on your back? No, it's just muscle pains. How old are you? You sound like a kid. I'm 30. You are a kid. You're 30? Yeah. <laughs> you are a kid. You're too young to have muscle pains. A couple of things. First of all, obviously, the nutritional supplements are important, glucogel caps and the Mighty 90 essential nutrients. But a couple of things. When you have back pain, you're looking at some kind of inflammation. Uh, I would try stretching and yoga. Don't underestimate the importance of stretching and yoga, especially for elderly folks, not just for kids, uh, 30-year-olds, but also for elderly folks. Stretching, yoga can be very helpful for back pain. The glucogel caps are important. And then dietary strategies. Hang tight, Crystal. We'll finish up when we come back. I'm Pharmacy. This is Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. All right, we're back on The Bright Side talking to Crystal in Canada, Quebec. How's it going in Quebec today, Crystal? You there, oh, Crystal? It's beautiful. It's a... It's our holiday today. Well, Quebec's what, holiday. What holiday is it? It's called Saint Jean Saint Jean Baptiste. Saint Jean Baptiste Day. Happy Saint Jean Baptiste Day. All right. So as far as Thank your back, you. You, as far as your back goes, what do you do, by the way? What kind of work do you do out there? Uh, I do web and graphic design. So oh, I'm at the computer. Sure. Oh, very nice. Check out my truthtreatments.com. Let me know what you think of the website. Send me, send me out an email, truthtreatments.com. Anyway, oh, okay. uh, for, for the back, uh, number one, you want to look to inflammation. Uh, well, I, I talked to you before the break about the glucogel caps. That can be helpful. Bone soup can be helpful. If you have any digestive health issues, you want to correct those. Most importantly, you're looking at, an, and of course, stretching and yoga can also be helpful. Most importantly, you're looking at some kind of inflammatory problem. Uh, as far as inflammation goes, uh, the most likely suspect is going to be a digestive health issue. If you've got any digestive health issues, you want to work on those. Food allergies, food intolerances, do a food diary, eliminate problem food. So between your glucogel caps, your bone soup, and maybe even high uronic acid supplements, and then uh, yoga and stretching, and, uh, and also uh, eliminating problem foods, that should, be, uh, that should help you with your back and your inflammation. You want to consider it to be an inflammatory problem. I hope that helps you, Crystal. Yes, okay. I think so. All right. God bless you. Good luck. Have a beautiful day. And happy Jean-Baptiste Day to you in Quebec <laughs> and to all my Canadian listeners. Take care. Bye-bye. 
All right, that was cool. All right, let's see. Uh, for you guys interested in checking out my products, Truth Treatment products, it's truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. And you can also call 866-280-5545, 866-280-5545 if you want more information. All right, let's go to Catherine in California. What is up? Welcome to the Bright Side, Catherine. Hi, good morning, Ben. Good uh, morning. I love bone soup and bone marrow. I just love it. Oh, nice. <laughs> anyway, good to... right now I'm dealing with um, nightly a urinary incontinence uh, oh. coupled with uh, female prolapse. And oh, okay. I'm dealing with them both by, of course, bone soup and glucagel gel and all that. But um, Is it getting better I, or is it getting worse? What's, no, which which it's direction? Staying the same. It's staying, staying the same. The same. I do kegels and I do acupuncture. Oh. Who told you about I kegels? Do. How'd you know about kegels? Kegel exercises. Oh, I don't know. It just came naturally. Okay. It seemed reasonable, and I've done it. It does, doesn't it? On the internet. Yeah. Kegel, for the listeners, kegel uh, exercises, you have these muscles located in the bladder area uh, called. Uh, uh, called Kegel muscles, and by contracting your Kegel muscles, which is where you kind of, just like you when you have to go to the bathroom, but you want to, but you can't, you don't have anywhere to go to the bathroom, so you kind of clench your your uh, your piping, if you will. You do a little squeeze in the bottom. That's called a Kegel exercise. And if you hold it and then release it, and then hold it and release it, kind of like you're holding your urine, and then releasing it, holding your urine and releasing it, you can strengthen those muscles, and that can definitely help you with incontinence problems. There's different types of incontinence, for the most part. If you have an incontinence issue that's associated with prolapse, which is when your connective tissue breaks down, if you think of uh, connective tissue as jello and fruit as organs that sit in a jello mold, uh, prolapsed uterus is when the uterus, which you can think of like a maybe an apple or something in your jello mold, uh, the jello mold is breaking down and the apple kind of hangs low, and that's kind of what a prolapsed bladder is. is does that make sense how I explain that? Yes, yes okay. I understand. Okay, so you want to build the muscles up, and there's lots of ways to do it, and you're doing a couple good things right now with the bone soup and the glucogel caps. Definitely more protein for building up connective tissue. Uh, in addition to the bone soup, you want to make sure that you've got whey protein, maybe the Slender FX, and of course, animal protein in general can be helpful. You can also get protein pretty much in all foods. Bro if you're a vegetarian, broccoli and mushrooms uh, are good sources of protein. Beans, of course, are a good source of protein if you can handle those. Vitamin C is extra, extra important for all prolapse problems. It's Sounds to me like you're dealing with some kind of pro, some kind of connective tissue breakdown and probably inflammation. So if you have an inflammatory problem inside the body, it usually is related to food. Look for digestive issues: uh, diarrhea, constipation, gas, bloating, discomfort, heartburn, anything that's a digestive issue, and then link that up to a food, and then you're going to eliminate those foods. That's the most important strategy for uh, dealing with any kind of connective tissue breakdown that's in combination with inflammation, which it does sound like. It's what's happening with you with your incontinence, especially, uh, I, I'm assuming you're postmenopausal in your 60s or so. Is that right, Catherine? Yeah. 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 So more than likely you're dealing with this generic breakdown and there's probably some inflammation that's occurring there as well. This is really what accounts for urinary incontinence that's associated with the aging process. Inflammation and bodily breakdown. In between those yes. two, that's where you're having your incontinence issues. If you want to try one thing, uh, an anti-inflammatory that works for guys who are incontinent, and, and sometimes guys will go to the bathroom in the middle of the night and that's caused by an inflammatory problem with the prostate. Uh, and yours obviously is not that, but you may still benefit by using beta cytosterol, beta cytosterol, do about uh, 300 beta, milligrams a day. I, how, how do you, I know beta, I'll, but what's cyta? Cytosterol is S I T O S T E R O L. There's a little bit in the Prost FX pro product, you might want to try that, or you can just get beta cytosterol uh, off the internet or in a health food store, 300 milligrams a day. It is absolutely a godsend for men who are incontinent. Uh, who, have, who are going to the bathroom in the middle of the night, but it might help you as well uh, because it's got these, some, some really neat anti-inflammatory benefits. So healthy start pack, vitamin C, uh, slender FX, whey protein, maybe egg protein as well. Uh, if you want to do vegetarian sources of protein, mushrooms and, uh, and, um, and broccoli are good sources of vegetarian protein. Also, peas can be a good source of vegetarian protein. Legumes in general are a good source of vegetarian protein. And then if you have any digestive problems, you've got to correct those. The uh, Biolumin Nightly Essence, the Fucoid Z, all of those are great for digestive support. Last but not least for inflammation and for digestion, the ultimate enzymes are really important. And we're going to talk a lot about enzymes here in the coming weeks for skin health. And I'm actually working on getting a line of enzymes on uh, brightsidehealthproducts.com. 
uh, because enzymes are just mega, mega, mega important and misunderstood. So that might be something else that you want to think about. Appreciate your call. Thank I you so much. It. Thank you, Take care, Catherine. Bye. Good luck with everything. Okay, let's see. i uh, got a couple more minutes. Steve in Virginia. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Hi there. Hi, good morning. I uh, was just going to ask you about this um, protein bar that we've tried. It's a builder bar, uh, and they seem to have good ingredients, but they do have soy and mm. high hyaluronic acid. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing Wait, wait. It. There is really. high hyaluronic acid in the bar? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, that's in the, in the soy. The Usually they don't put that in bars. Oh, what, I'm what are you sorry, talking? Maybe I'm mis. Uh, no problem. Or, what kind of bar are you talking about? Is this something you bought at a health food store, or is it a longevity bar? Uh huh. Uh, well, it's at the uh, actually uh, the the Target. Uh, I think they do have them at the health store too. They have some similar ones I've seen. Uh, they may be there too. But uh, but the issue was we were, you know mainly we were wondering about the soy. Soy is not great stuff, you know, but there is good stuff in soy. So sometimes with foods, you've got, uh, you've got good stuff and you've got bad stuff. Here's the thing about soy in a bar. It's not soy. It's a processed soy product. And those are the kinds of soy things that you've got to be careful of is when, when the soy is processed and some stuff is taken out and some stuff is left in. Personally, I would stay away from it, it just my opinion. Uh, there's no real need for soy. It's a filler. It's a commodity crop. It's certainly going to be, it's not, for the most part, it's not going to be organic. Very likely it's GMO. Uh, there's really no need for it. There's no need. Uh, protein bars are problematic in general. You know, they're good for emergencies or if you need something really quick, but they're not really great food sources. Uh, I've, yeah. I've yet to see a, a protein bar that is a great source of nutrition, uh, all around nutrition, although there might be some nutrients in it. Yeah. Hope that Does that help you, Steve? Yeah, yeah. Anything the, else the other, um, what, where do we find that other, the one I was mentioning to you, the, the acid? The high hyaluronic acid? Yeah, that, I heard that. I guess I got confused on No that. problem. Hyaluronic acid, we've been talking about it for the last few days, and we'll probably continue talking about it. It's an animal product. You'll find it in supplements. Uh, uh, you can make your own hyaluronic acid with the glucogel caps. Bone soup and cartilage can be a source of hyaluronic acid. If you want to just get straight hyaluronic acid, it's readily available in 100-milligram capsules, and you can find that pretty much anywhere. Um, but building your own glyc uh, hyaluronic acid is probably the best way to do it. Exercise, skin exercise exercise if you're interested in getting hyaluronic acid uh, uh, topically in your skin. And then uh, using glucosamine, uh, glucosamine suppl supplements is a great way to help your body, give your body the raw materials and help your body make its own hyaluronic acid. Okay, I got to move on, Steve. Is there anything else you want to ask? No, that was all. I appreciate it. My pleasure, Steve, and thanks, and say hi to Rose, too, by the way. Okay, all right. thank you very much. All right, thank you so much. All right, that's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. Check out my website, brightsideben.com, if you want to purchase any of the longevity products or sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team. You can do it right off of brightsideben.com or my blog, pharmacistben.com, or now criticalhealthnews.com. And if you're interested in purchasing any of the retinol products or omega-6 healing cream with the ascorbyl palmitate or my truth balm or my truth serum products, products, head over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, and uh, check, out, check out the uh, products at truthtreatments.com. You can also, uh, you can also uh, call, I don't know the number off the top of my head here, but if you go to truthtreatments.com, there's a phone number there you can call. All right, thanks for listening, friends. Have yourselves a wonderful, spectacular, awesome, beautiful day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.